Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I am going to show you my do it yourself pass through. It ain't nothing fancy, it's just a piece of plywood. I just want to repurpose. I'm going to sand it down after I'm, I drill the hole. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make a simple pass through where I want to pass a few wires, internal wires, through my window. I don't want to uh, put a uh, big fancy box plus i'm going to be on the second floor i don't want to use one of those uh you know thin window uh wires because i'm going to have I, i'm probably going to have about five cables at least so i'm going to drill a hole here i'm going to put pvc here and run about five four or five wires through there if i need a second one i can drill one here i can do quite a few of them it's not the it's not going to be pretty but it's going to get the job done. It's going to allow me to run the wires up to my second floor uh, shack slash uh, YouTube studio. And yeah, I can use a thinner piece of wood. But I know I have a table saw. And I'm just using a circular saw when I cut this. So please don't put no stupid comments about being a carpentry expert and all that. I don't have those type of tools. So please don't put no stupid comments on that. So basically... Uh, make sure this uh, this is about uh, 30, 32 inches long. This is going to go on the window. I'm going to close the window on top of it. Just like when you put an air conditioner, window air conditioner, or window fan. Similar uh, type deal. Okay. And again, I'm going to drill a hole here. I'm going to put the PVC. Um, I want it to be snug, but unfortunately, um, I did a couple of tests. Uh, a couple of tests. And I found out that this one is going to be, the first one I did was way too big. It's too much. And then this one, I, you know, before I even finished it, I decided I'm not going to, because it's going to be too small. It's actually going to go inside the inner diameter of that pipe, which is not going to be good. So I decided to go with this with this one. Um, and I'm going to cut the PVC shorter. So when I put that through there, it's not going to wobble. I'm going to keep it very short. And I'm going to have another elbow so I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna keep it short. I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna put another elbow here, and that should be good. And eventually, I will uh, glue that portion in here with the pipe, and I think that'll work fine. Um, that's what I that's what I have. I have the, the the set that I have. That's the only the size I have. There's no perfect size for this one and a half inch pipe to go really snug through that i could try this one and again I, you know it's going to be too small so this is the next one so i have to go with this size okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this pvc uh, pipe short this one is going to be outside facing down so when it rains the water doesn't go up in there i'm gonna run my uh few cables in here and then on the other end um i'm gonna put the pvc either facing up or down doesn't matter and then that'll go into the, that'll be inside the shack. Okay, so let me drill that hole. Okay, so as you can see, I drilled the hole there now. Just gotta clean it up. And um, I'm gonna get the other piece of this elbow and I'm gonna dry fit it in there. I'm gonna cut this PVC pipe also. I do have a uh, uh, a hacksaw. I'm gonna cut it shorter and try to dry fit it in and see if that would, that's gonna work. And as you can see, I got the hole drilled right there. Um, I had to clean it up with the file, especially on the other side where it came out there. It had a mushroom down, so I cleaned it up with the file there. And you um, got the other piece right here. Okay, so it's gonna go in there. This one I just tapped it in. I don't even need I don't even need pipe glue for this because this thing is so snug. I can just put it there and it'll it'll hold up. And I don't want to glue this end because I when I uh run my coax through here, I may have to pull this, I may have to take this out and move it out of, out of the way so I can get all the wiring through there. Okay. And I'll show you how it looks when it's uh, uh assembled here. So as you can see, that's going to look like, it looks uh, almost uh, like the finished product. Of course, I'm going to sand it. Uh, I may just uh, hit it with a, a coat of paint or so. Uh, this is going to be like inside the house, this part out there. Of course, it's going to be the other side. I'm going to keep it down because obviously I don't want no water to come in through here. 
Okay, and right now it's not glued. It's just uh, like I said, this side is. Uh, I just tapped it in, and this side I can just take it out. And you know, I don't. I'm not gonna glue it because I, I like I said, I can just take it out right now. I'm holding one hand, but I can just literally. And if I need to move it around like that, you know. Okay, so this is uh basically my. Uh, solution to my window issue bringing on the coax of course the window is going to rest on top of this like a window fan um, I'm going to secure it originally I was going to put a couple of screws one here one here on each end my uh, four screws but the window frame is metal I don't want to do that I don't want to really uh, damage the window frame so I have another idea which is going to be the window, uh, right now I'm down here so I can't show you, but uh, the window sill. Um, I'm just going to put a small block of wood so when I rest it on it, it'll keep it still. And then when I rest the window on top of it, that'll secure it. It won't, you know, I tried it before. Um, it's not going to move at all. It'll be very, very uh, solid. Then, of course, with this, again, I can... Uh, uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is I want to do a non-destructive type entry into my second floor shack. Okay, I don't want to uh, make, a, make a box for it, and I don't want. And I didn't want to spend uh, eighty plus dollars, whatever the hell it costs now, for the MFJ with all the uh, connectors. I don't need that. This is gonna work fine. I'm gonna have a curtain block in it. You're not even gonna see this inside the. When you walk into my room, you're not gonna see this. It's gonna be a curtain covered over there. Of course, I will be. Uh, when as it gets colder in the winter time, I will seal it. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am gonna be up there for at least a year or two. So this is a temporary solution to my um, bringing the, the all all my antenna wire in. I'm gonna have this one now, and this is gonna hold like I said about maybe five wires or six wires. If I needed another one, I could drill another one. I can put a couple of elbows and a small piece of PVC. I have plenty of spare PVC. Doesn't cost me anything. This project right here doesn't cost me anything other than the uh, ordering the uh, hole saw bit set, which I didn't have one. Uh, you know, I didn't have a whole boss bit set, so I had to order that. It was around eleven dollars from Amazon. I'll put the link to the whole saw bit set in the description. PVC, you know, you can get that anywhere, any big box hardware store, or any hardware store. Okay, the one and a half inch. I could also go with a bigger uh, PVC if I want to add more wires into there. But I'm going to try this one first. Like I said, if I need another one, I would do another one. And maybe even separate them. Maybe this will be like for HF. I'll do another one for VHF, UHF. And so on. Like I said, it's not the prettiest uh, window pass-through, but it'll do the job. Okay, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's on the window. Here we go. So as you can see, uh, this I just already threw my Ethernet cable through here. And it goes into my computer. Of course, the Ethernet is coming from my basement. So as you can see, it works. It's practical. Um, I haven't even anchored into the... Uh, Framework, uh, framework, excuse me, yeah, because I'm not going to do that. I don't want to damage it. So I may just put a block right here and secure it with a couple of screws. I mean, I, of course, right now, I don't need that. If I um, put a block over here, wooden block, and preventing this, roof, uh, this window from opening, um, it'll, hold, it'll be pretty secure. Okay? But um, I'm going to put a block here anyway, and then I'm going to put a block up there. I know I'm shaking the camera. I'm sorry. I'm huffing and puffing right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that should keep the window from opening. And then, of course, as we get colder and the, uh, the weather get colder and later on in the fall, in the winter time, I will seal the gaps so we don't get any draft. Of course, I'm going to put temporary something there so we don't get, I don't get no bugs flying in through there or anything like that. But right now, this is uh, a pass-through. Very simple window pass through that you can do uh did it, like i said it didn't cost me anything repurpose wood a couple of one and a half inch pvc elbow 90 degree elbow and 
a small straight PVC pipe just to connect those two. And you can glue them also. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Just stay snug and they work. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down. I got a little bit of sand. I'm going to do that outside and try to get some paint. I have to look for some uh, whatever paint I have around there. Although I don't really need it right now. And uh, I can start putting my wires through here. Okay, and like I said, if I want to need to, if I need expansion, I can make another one. I can make another one. Okay, so that is my pass through DIY window pass through for you know radio listening or ham radio slash amateur radio and so on. And it's very simple, very and non destructive at all, and it costs me nothing. Is it the prettiest? No. Is it an MFJ type uh, window pass through? No. Uh, do I need that? No. So there you go. All right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And also, um, if you want to contribute to the channel, hit the super thanks button. Um, you can also donate through PayPal. And of course, when I do come on the live stream, you can also hit me in the super chat. So you can see more videos like this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.